mechanism of photosynthesis part 1 how do the plants gain energy by the end of this video you will be able to explain the process of light reaction in photosynthesis give reason why it is called as light reaction state the connecting substances between light reaction and dark reaction in the earlier videos several times we have defined the process of photosynthesis with an equation such as 6CO2 plus 12H2O gives rise to C6H12O6 plus 6O2 plus 6H2O. Is it so simple as shown in the equation? No. It is a very complex process involving two stages such as light reaction and dark reaction. In this video, we are going to learn about light reaction. Before going into the light reaction, let us list out the pigments involved in the light reaction. They are chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, carotenoids and xanthophylls. These are the major pigments which are involved in the light reaction. Light reaction. A series of chemical reactions occur initiated by light. So it is known as photochemical phase or light dependent reaction. It occurs in grana of chloroplast which constitutes of stacks of thylakoids. The earlier said pigments are embedded in the thylakoid membrane in the form of light harvesting complex at many points. There are majorly three events are involved in this process. Absorption of light, photolysis and conversion of light energy into chemical energy. Absorption of light. It is made possible by the light harvesting complex in which chlorophyll A forms reaction center. Whereas other pigments such as chlorophyll B, carotenoids and xanthophylls remain as accessory pigments. All these accessory pigments act as antenna because when the light falls on the complex in the form of photons, the light energy is harvested cumulatively to the reaction center due to which the electrons are excited in the reaction center of chlorophyll A. On the basis of absorption of frequency of light, two types of photosystems are formed with the light harvesting complex such as photosystem 1 and photosystem 2. Photolysis When the electrons are excited from the chlorophyll, it will be received by electron acceptor such as pheophytin. This action stimulates the water molecule to split and form oxygen, protons and electrons. This process is known as photolysis. The resultant electrons move towards the reaction center to reduce it. Conversion of light energy into chemical energy. The electrons received by the electron acceptor move through the electron transport chain which constitutes of plastoquinone, cytochrome complex, plastocyanin, etc. And finally it reaches photosystem 1 and reduces it where as it is already oxidized by release of electrons due to the absorption of light. During this electron transport chain protons are formed. Electrons which are excited by the PS1 will be received by ferredoxin and in the presence of NADP oxidoreductase enzyme will be utilized to form NADPH which is considered as energy rich compound and utilized in the dark phase or Kelvin cycle. The protons which are formed during the photolysis and during the electron transportation will be transferred through the ATP synthase complex which results in combining inorganic phosphate with the adenosine diphosphate to form ATP adenosine triphosphate which is again an energy rich compound. These two energy rich compounds such as NADPH and ATP are the final results of 
light reaction which are used in the process of dark reaction this is how the photochemical phase is represented in the thylakoid membrane involving photosystem 2 and photosystem 1 finally it is concluded that due to the transportation of electrons nadph is formed whereas transportation of protons results in formation of atp as per the chemical equation 12 molecules of water are involved in the formation of one molecule of glucose so in light reaction 12 water molecules are involved to form six molecules of oxygen 12 molecules of nadph and 24 molecules of atp the oxygen is released into the atmosphere whereas nadph and atp are utilized in the dark phase hence these two are considered as connecting substances between light reaction and dark reaction with this video we have listed the pigments involved in light reaction explained the events in light reaction as well as stated that nadph and atp are the connecting substances between light reaction and dark reaction